Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane and today I'm literally rushing against the sun so I'm hoping there's just enough daylight to at least film the first part of this video. So I'm super excited. I actually have a new collaboration. It's been a really, really, really long time since I've done a collab on my channel but this one I couldn't really say no to. I only accept collaborations that A, accept my opinion as my own. I will never be bought out by a company to say that a product is really good um, or that I enjoy your product simply to become an affiliate with them. Whenever a company reaches out, A, I always make sure that it's a genuine interest of mine and something that I would want to share with you guys, and B, that all opinions must remain my own. I don't like when companies send me like bullet points. Like I'll point out certain things and certain features and stuff that are good for you guys to know, but for someone to like give me a script, that's not going to happen. I kind of just mentioned that it's going to be a two-parter video. So I was sent two different products to review and they are baby products. Am I in focus? Hello. <laughs> um, I was sent two different products. These are actually new products being released over the next couple of weeks and I'm so excited to be able to review them. So one of them I'm going to kind of have to wait to try and you guys will understand why in just a second. But the other one I can try today and I really, really, really hope it works. These products are from Rue, I'm sorry, Hubble, Hubble Connected. So both of the product links will be down in the description. I did get some codes for you guys. You're more than welcome to use. They're simply there if you want to use them and support this channel. You certainly don't have to. So this is called the prenatal heartbeat monitor. Allegedly, I can hear my baby's heartbeat while I'm still pregnant and that's why I wanted to like rush and film this video today because Hunter could be here any day. My daughter is here joining me. You can, what's the matter? It says the Rue prenatal heartbeat monitor is a safe and non-evasive way to listen to your unborn baby's heartbeat um, from the convenience of your phone. Download the free Hubble Connected app to track your pregnancy and share the journey with friends and family. So it says how it works. It seems really simple. It says download the app, place the Rue on your bump to hear your unborn baby's heartbeat, Track the heartbeat and view weekly trends. Say the heartbeat sounds and share with friends and family. So I don't know, that's pretty cool. Um, but again, that's why I was rushing. I was like, oh my gosh, like I need to try this before he's here. So we're gonna be trying that today. But then the second product that we're gonna be trying is a baby monitor. And I'm so eternally grateful that I was sent one because I don't have one yet. And I was like, oh my God, this one thing that I just, don't have and I need to get my hands on. So again from Hubble Connected, it's a Motorola, uh, what's it called? This one is specifically, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to find like the name of it. It just says a 4.3 inch full HD 1080p Wi-Fi video baby monitor with digital pan, tilt, and zoom. One thing being um, a, a mother, I don't want to say an experienced mother, but a mother, <laughs> is that I never want another baby monitor that doesn't have the video. I used to have one that just had audio and it was so stressful to like freak out over every little noise that I would hear. So I definitely recommend anything with a monitor. It doesn't have to be this one, but if you're a new mom or you're expecting, definitely something with a video, save yourself the hassle. <laughs> So I'm not going to be able to necessarily try this one, of course, until Hunter is here. So this is going to be another part of the video, um, setting it up, seeing how easy it is, and yeah, seems pretty fancy. So let's go ahead, crack the root open, see if I need to, uh, oops, I didn't think if I need to charge it or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I need to charge it, then we'll be revisiting this video first thing in the morning, but that, this is what we're about to find out. So let's unbox it together. I do love that it's pink, I must say, my favorite color. So right on top, <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay, we have this little, not quite sure what that is at the very moment. Pulling out some cardboard, instruction manual. Okay, box is empty, so it does come with a USB 
thing, so we might be doing this in the morning. Um, <laughs> it comes with the user guide. It comes with, um, oh, like a little portable, oh my gosh, this thing is tiny. Is this, this is either for the device itself or it's for, oh my gosh, is this the device? Because that's what this, <laughs> on the box, this is what this looks like. Oh, it's tiny. Okay, the box threw me off. I thought it was going to be like so much bigger, but it's so small. So that's the device itself. Um, and then it also comes with, yeah, this is just the device. I just thought it was going to be bigger. I'm, I'm, Ella wanted to know what the commotion was about. And then it is a little bigger. It is. And then, ooh, nice backpack. I'm going to school. Going to school? Yeah. Just came home from school. I'm attending. Okay. I'm going to school. You have stuff packed up in that bag? Ooh, fancy. Okay. And then <laughs> it comes with this, which I'm assuming probably it looks like a belt. Like a. I don't know. I'm going to have to definitely read the instruction, but it, it looks like it comes with a belt that would connect to the device itself. So probably be smart to read the instructions and see what the heck is going on. Let me actually get this out of the box. Oh, okay. This thing is so small. <laughs> I'm actually glad, kind of glad it's small though, but oh my God, it looks like a little computer mouse. It's tiny. It's so cute. It's a tiny little like soft patch. Like this is really, really, really soft and it's kind of like rubbery. Um, and then it has a little power thing in the front. Um, it literally looks like the mouse to my computer. Oh, and then this lifts up to reveal the little USB port. Okay, so to set up the Roo, it said to charge the Roo acoustic fetal heart rate monitor with a provided USB power cable when it's recommended to at least charge 10 hours before the use. I am gonna just see if it has any charge in it whatsoever. Oh, it does. Oh, good. Okay, so I just pressed it once and it lit up, so. Can I turn it back off? Hopefully we can get like maybe a little demo in tonight. If not, I'll just charge it overnight. Um, but to press it on, press and hold the power button. Oh, at the side of the root. Oh, yeah, it didn't turn off. Okay, so press and hold for the LED indicator. Press and hold the power button at the side of the root. The LED indicator will flash green for three seconds and then go off. To power it off, press and hold the power button at the side of the roof. The LED indicator will flash red for three seconds and then go off. Currently, it's flashing neither. It's flashing white, and I don't know if that means that there is no charge to it. I just held it, and it definitely just turned off. Um, so, <laughs> let me try... Let me try holding it again real quick. One, two, three. Okay, definitely doesn't want to turn on. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do this first thing in the morning, but that's okay. Um, I do at least want to get the app going. I just typed in Hubble Connected onto my phone, and I believe it's gotta be that first app there. Or no, cause that one says, I think it's a little bit down. I think it's this one, cause this one says Hubble Connected. So let me go. Get this at least downloaded. It also runs on an iPad as well. Right now my iPad is helping me record this video, but um, you don't have to use it just on your smartphone. Okay, so we're just now turning on the app. Whoa, it's doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff. So it says would it would like to use Bluetooth, so I'm just gonna allow it um, access my location. I don't know why I would need to do that, but we're gonna allow it once. Um, it would like to send me notifications, sure. So we're gonna sign up. I'm gonna sign up real quick, make an account. Signing up, I created a username, email, password. Now it just wants me to confirm my email and type in the code, so we'll do that. I just wanna walk you guys through this entire thing to show you how easy or how difficult this might be. Okay, I still have not received an email yet. <laughs> I'm gonna wait another minute, <clears throat> see if we get, ooh. 
have a notification from Ella's school. Oh, okay, here it is. Um, Hubble connected, so you're almost there. Just add the code below into the Hubble app. So, so that should be, it's just a number code. Congratulations. Ooh, hello. Congratulations, you have been set up. So now I'm just gonna hit take me in. And it says, hey mom, I can't wait to show you my heartbeat. Oh my God, that's, <laughs> And that is super cute, oh my god. Add Roo, there's a little button, so it says, Bluetooth needs to be disabled to detect, detect the Roo heartbeat device, which I did, um, do I not have Bluetooth enabled? Okay, so let me, so I just went into my Bluetooth, so it says turn the device on. Now this is the part where I'm probably going to get stuck, um, where you would actually use the app. I'm going to try again holding this for three seconds. No. Okay, so we're going to have to revisit this. At least the app is downloaded and ready for tomorrow. So I'm going to go let this charge and I will see you guys first thing in the morning. Good morning, everybody. I apologize. <laughs> For the background, I had no time this morning to pull myself together. Right away this morning, I had to get Ella to school, and then I had a baby appointment. Um, so I did like post a pregnancy diaries and everything. I'm not sure if this video is going up or that video. Actually, I think I'm gonna try to. I'm, I think I'm gonna try to push this video out first so you guys will be updated in a couple of days about what we learned with the pregnancy diaries today um, but I am at 39 weeks pregnant um, but I was just like in tears because my cousin who my cousin's a boy but his girlfriend let me zoom you guys in a little bit her his girlfriend was due February 5th and she got induced yesterday and um, they just had her t this morning so I was looking at pictures and I'm like I'm so jealous <laughs> because their baby's here and I want Hunter here so bad um uh right here <laughs> I'll show you one picture I don't know I know there's quite the glare but oh my little She's so precious. It's very cute. Um, but anyways, I'm still rushing this morning because I gotta get my butt, butt to work. Um, so we're just gonna start where we left off yesterday. So I'm pulling up the app again. Um, this time I I ended up um, charging this all night. So we're at the app where it says to add the Roo. So I'm gonna again select Roo and then to turn the device on, I'm supposed to hold it for three seconds. I don't understand. I don't understand. I. Oh, okay, it did turn on. Okay, cool, so it paired successfully. I thought for some reason this still wasn't charged, and I'm like, I swear, I had it plugged in all night. Okay, so now it's asking me to enter my name. My pre-pregnancy weight was 114 pounds. Oh no, I think I panicked everybody because I posted something on my Facebook. Hold on. Hello? You know, you love your family so much. <laughs> But you always have those family members that just, oh, the phone call won't end. Okay, anyways. Okay, so now it's giving me instructions on how to use. It says, thank you for using Rue Heartbeat device and check out how it works. Tightly fasten the abdominal belt according to the above figure and leave the top of the belt and the navel two to five centimeters away. The belt increases the probability of detecting the baby's heartbeat. So that is the belt that I showed last night. So I guess we're gonna... This dark spot right here is actually from my um, old belly button ring. So it wants me to fasten it. It looks like... Oh, what the heck. Okay, it looks like about here. I think okay and then the next step look for a quick and comfortable place to lie down well crap <laughs> put the device with the heart up looks like this and place it underneath the navel underneath the belt and close to the belly the small ear of the device must also be fully covered by the belt I think 
I'm not really going to be able to lie down to be honest with you, but I think it goes here because this was the detection area and I think it needs to be completely covered. And then it says, listen with Rue. So it says, please make sure you wear the belt and place your Rue device as instruction given before starting to record your baby's heartbeat. Press continue to confirm and it'll automatically start. Oh my gosh. Okay. So he was over... He's kicking me right now. Alright, let me try to adjust this again. So it said nothing was recorded because they couldn't hear the baby's heartbeat, but the problem is he's moving around right now. I'll tuck it under the belts again. This is like, it's not the most comfortable thing, I will admit. Um, Alright, let me hit listen again. I'm having a really hard time finding his heartbeat. Do I ne necessarily need this belt? I don't know if I do. It's really hard to move this around. So I'm gonna take off the belt. <clears throat> Moving you guys down a bit so you can actually see what the heck I'm doing. So I'm gonna try it again. I don't know, they always seem to be able to get it, the heartbeat from this side, and that's why I'm concentrating it mostly on this side. I just heard it a few minutes ago. I'm gonna try, like, <laughs> kind of lying down. Okay, so that's probably the best I'm going to be able to do right now. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that was amazing! I wasn't expecting that to work. Um, you know, obviously it took some time to like find it. I was sitting there for like five minutes, but um, that was amazing. And it did just show, unfortunately it just went away. Let me see. Um, it showed that the baby is happy right now. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. That was like so clear too. That's what it sounds like when I go to the OBG. Obviously, they have a much more like powerful device. But that was incredible to actually be able to just like be in the comfort of my own home and hear my baby's heartbeat. So this thing is so cool. If I have any expecting mothers in the future, like I want to get them one of these. This was so awesome. I wish I wish I had found this company. A little bit earlier in my pregnancy because I've only had one ultrasound at 20 weeks so like I only got to see my baby once and I do love listening to his heartbeat I used to fall asleep to Ella's heartbeat because I had like another one similar but it wasn't as clear as this one is so that is incredible I'm glad that it worked too without the belt the belt wasn't super comfortable I must say but I did like firmly press down on my belly as well um, and then you just shut it off and then it has again this little um, nice pouch to keep everything in and the USB charger as well. Um, so I really enjoy that. Um, I'm really excited that that worked the way that it said it would work um, and it's saved on my phone. I don't know if I actually recorded anything or not. I'll have to play around with the app some more but I know you're able to record it and like send it to friends and family if you wanted to and everything but this was really easy to use obviously I had to charge it overnight but that was the only like hiccup I ran into and then finding the baby's heartbeat took a couple minutes but that's just like user error you know it has nothing to do with the device so I'm so excited that this ended up working it's amazing that I got to hear my baby's heartbeat again in the comfort of my own home so um I'm gonna push this video out but look out for my second part where we test the baby monitor because now I'm like 
these products are good. <laughs> so again, if you want to get your own, there will be a link down below. Feel free to check it out. I think it's a wonderful gift and um, I'm definitely going to be uh, playing with it some more on my own time. But I just want to get this video out to you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Also, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!